Hey friends, my name is Osama. In movies and shows, we've all seen nuclear fuel depicted as scary and really dangerous. So in this video, I'll be simplifying a bundle, a fuel bundle, which is used in a Canadian deuterium nuclear reactor or a CANDU reactor. Now the role of fuel in a reactor is simple. It's used to generate heat and the coolant then takes that heat and carries it away from the fuel. This heat is used to create steam, which spins turbines and ultimately creates clean energy. Let's start off with a fuel bundle. What is a fuel bundle? Well, it weighs around 24 kilograms and 90% of its weight is the uranium dioxide fuel. The size of a, a fuel bundle is pretty much the size of a wooden log. It can be easily be picked up by one person and a fresh fuel bundle can actually be handled by an individual, but you have to wear cotton gloves so that your oils don't go on the bundle itself. It produces enough electricity to power one home for 100 years. So there's a lot of cap energy capacity in that one bundle, which is around 1,100 megawatt hours per bundle. All right. Now bundles, they stay in the reactor core for around 12 to 20 months. And it really depends on the location of the bundle within the reactor core. Now, over time, U-235, which is a fissile isotope, the isotope that actually does a lot of the legwork in nuclear fission, it decreases and eventually the fresh fuel, which is used in a reactor, becomes spent fuel. Now, the structure of a fuel bundle is pretty much the cladding. Cladding, or in Canada, we call it the sheet, made out of a, of a metal called zirconium or zirc alloy four. So this is what encloses the fuel. Actually, my, my ring that I got from graduating from the nuclear engineering program is actually made out of the same material. Now, why is zirc alloy used? Well, it, it has characteristics such as low neutron absorption, so it's invisible to neutrons. Uh, neutrons that are in one bundle can, uh, can basically start initiating reactions in all other bundles across the reactor. Also, it has uh, low hydrogen pickup. It's a uh, good corrosion resistance. Uh, so in these bundles, the fuel is basically a ceramic fuel, ceramic high density uranium dioxide and ceramics are used just like, so ceramics, you may think of plates, okay, that, are, that you can toss into a microwave. The, the reason why ceramics are used is because they're resistant to high temperatures. Now, the, the cladding also retains fission products that are created as a result of splitting uranium. Uh, let's go into the details of the bundle itself. Now the bundle is pretty simple. The, the components are, it has two end plates, which, which enclose the bundle. And also it has inter element spacers. So these are located in the middle of the bundle and pretty much it's a structure that prevents the pencils from touching one another. A thin graphite layer is also applied. It's called can lube. Okay. It's applied to the inner surface of the fuel sheath or the cladding. And this pretty much reduces interactions between the pellet and the, the cladding when power levels increase or decrease. Throughout operation of the reactor, the bundle itself is supported by the pressure tube. So these bundles are inserted into pressure tubes and they're held in place by shield plugs. Now let's jump into fuel pencils, all right? So once you see the sheath are loaded with fuel pencils, all right? So in CANDU 9 or CANDU 6 reactors, bundles are made up of 37 fuel pencil or called elements. Now, typically a pencil is made up of 30 fuel pellets and each pellet is around the size of this earplug and it weighs around 20 grams. So imagine this 20 gram worth of fuel having as much energy as 400 kilograms of coal. Now, 10 of these pellets, they can power an average Canadian home for a year. Imagine 10 AA batteries powering your home for an entire year. Yeah, it's incredible. Uh, that's one of the benefits of nuclear power. It's very energy dense. So each pencil consists of a sheath and fuel caps at the ends. Now, bearing pads are also located on the outside of these bundles to support the bundle when it's in the fuel channel. So there you have it. That's an overview of what a fuel bundle is. Uh, it's a main source of fuel, which pretty much creates heat in the reactor. Okay, heat's carried off by coolant, which is a heavy water. Next, this is used to pretty much create steam, spin turbines, and generate electricity. It's pretty simple. Hope you enjoy this video. Until next time, thank you. Bye.